To use foam board as a creative medium, cutting different shapes, sizes, contours, and circles, try Foamworks from Logan. The Foamworks channel rail is a 32 inch long straight edge used in conjunction with various Foamworks tools. One side features a scaled edge. The other side has a raised edge which various Foamworks tools can hook onto. The underside of the channel rail has rubber stripping which prevents slipping. Different Foamworks tools will connect onto the side of the Foamworks channel rail to guide them straight when being used. To use the Foamworks circle cutter, first install a blade. Loosen the knob and remove the beam from the center of the machine. On the end of the beam, you will find the blade holding knob and the blade cover. Remove both of these. Place a single blade onto the blade block, going the same direction as the imprint on the plastic. Then replace the blade cover. Now replace the beam into the center of the machine. To determine the diameter of the circle to be cut, loosen the knob and find the scale on the side of the beam. Use this scale to set the diameter of the circle to be cut. When using the foamwork circle cutter, always see you have a scrap piece of foam board under the foam board you are cutting. Determine the center of the circle by making a reference mark. Now place the foamwork circle cutter with the centering pin on top of the mark you made. To operate the circle cutter, turn the handle to the right and listen for the blade as it cuts through the foam board and slightly into the scrap foam board underneath. When finished, always remember to rewind the tool before setting it aside. The foam board circle cutter can cut circles from one inch up to six inches. To install a blade onto the Logan Foamworks Freestyle Cutter, first remove the knob and the blade cover. Place one blade onto the tool and replace the blade cover. The Freestyle Cutter is now ready to be used. However, when it's not being used, Loosen the knob slightly and tilt the nose piece forward to protect the blade. Note there is blade storage on the underside of the tool by removing the door. When using the Logan Freestyle Foam Board Cutter, always see you have a scrap piece of foam board under the foam board that you're going to be cutting. To use the tool, first loosen the blade cover and tilt it so the blade is exposed. Then insert the blade into the foam board and push to make freestyle cuts. Note that the Logan Foamworks Freestyle Cutter works only on 3 16 foam board.
When using the freestyle cutter to cut foam board from the outside edge in, adding a second piece of foam board at the bottom supports the tool for a smoother cut. To install blades onto the Logan V Groover, remove the yellow blade clips and install blades on both sides of the tool. Then replace the yellow blade clips. Note the magnet embedded into the plastic that holds the blade while you are installing it. The back of the tool features a blade storage area where extra blades can be held. To adjust blade depth on the V-Groover, find the blade depth dial on the rear of the tool. This adjusts the blade depth gauge on the underside of the V-Groover, from deeper to more shallow. The Logan Foamworks V-Groover works best in conjunction with the Logan Foamworks channel rail. This guides the cuts to be straight. Always make sure you're using a scrap piece of foam board under the foam board you are going to V-Groove. Use the channel rail to make reference marks where you want the V-Groove to appear. The V-Groover has small notches on it which will align with your reference mark. Hook the V-Groover onto the side of the channel rail in line with the reference mark you made. Adding an extra piece of material at the far end supports the beginning and the end of your cut. Slide the tool forward Depress the blades and pull straight back to create your V-groove. To install blades into the Logan Rabbit Cutter, first remove the knob and then separate the two halves of the tool. Install each blade onto the embedded magnet. And replace both halves of the tool together. Note extra blade storage on the back of the tool. To produce a rabbit cut edge, use the tool at the edge of the foam board and push it away from you. Another technique is to switch it to the other hand, connect the tool to the edge of the foam board, and pull it towards you. A rabbit edge is another way of creating a 90 degree corner with foam board. To install a blade onto the Logan Foamwork straight cutter, first remove the yellow blade cover clip. Install a blade using the magnet to hold it in place and replace the yellow blade holding clip. Note the extra blade storage on the back of the tool. The Foamworks straight cutter will connect itself to the side of the Logan Foamworks channel rail. 
The straight cutter can also be used left-handed by switching the blade to the other side of the tool. To adjust the blade depth on the Logan Foamworks straight cutter, find the dial on the back. This adjusts the gauge on the bottom of the tool from shallow to deeper. To use the straight cutter, first make sure that you're using a scrap piece of foam board under the foam board that you're going to cut. Use the Logan Foamworks channel rail to mark a reference line where the straight cut is to appear. Turn the rail around so the raised edge aligns along your reference mark and hook the straight cutter onto the side of the rail. By depressing the front edge of the straight cutter and pulling back, you will now downsize the foam board. To install the blade onto the Logan Foamworks straight bevel cutter, remove a single blade from the blade storage area. Now remove the blade holding knob and lay the blade on the side of the tool. And replace the blade holding knob. The tool is now ready to cut at a 90 degree angle. To convert the straight bevel cutter to a bevel cutter, remove the blade and install it on the other side of the tool. Then loosen the base block knob and rotate the base 180 degrees. Now the tool is ready to cut a 45 degree bevel. To set the blade depth, loosen the blade and reference the back edge of the blade on the hash marks found on the tool. To produce a 90 degree straight cut using the Logan Foamworks straight bevel cutter, always make sure you have scrap foam board under the foam board you're going to cut. Use the channel rail as a straight edge to guide the tool. Start with the tool just past the edge of the foam board. Hold tightly against the straight edge and pull straight back to make a straight cut. When finished, always loosen the blade and put it back to a safety position. To make a 45 degree cut using the Logan straight bevel cutter, first always ensure that you're using a scrap piece of foam board under the foam board you are cutting. Use the Logan channel rail as a straight edge to guide the tool. Extend the blade to the proper blade depth. Hold the tool firmly against the straight edge and pull straight back to make your bevel cut. After finishing your cut, see that you replace the blade to the safety setting. The Logan Foamworks hole drill features three different drill sizes that can be used. To install a drill, insert it from the bottom of the tool up and twist to lock it in place. Use the Foamworks channel rail or a ruler to determine the center of the hole to be drilled. Do this by marking crosshairs.
always see you have a scrap piece of foam board under the foam board you intend to cut. To use the hole drill, first remove the protective plastic cap. Note the four notches on the base piece of the hole drill. These will align with the crosshairs you have drawn on the foam board. To drill the hole, firmly hold the base with one hand and with the other, twist the knob until the drill cuts its way through the foam board and slightly into the scrap foam board underneath. When finished, remove the tool from the foam board and push the button on the top to expel the excess foam board from the drill. Always remember to replace the protective plastic caps when not using the drills.